and smells of the season. Barbecue specifically will be filling the skies in Kansas City this weekend. The American Royal is in town. The World Series of Barbecue is here. Let's go to KMBC 9's Rob Hughes, who is live at the Kansas Speedway. Hi, Rob. I'm blessed to be with Dr. Barbecue, a Hall of Famer. We're talking World Series of Barbecue. Dr. Barbecue, thanks so much for being here with us. Now, tell us about some do's and don'ts, some tips and tricks for turkey, which is what we're seeing right here, and a little bit about presentation, too. Oh, we're great to be here. Always happy to be at the American <laughs> Royal. Turkey as a category, the fourth year. Turkey smoke is part of the program here. We're up to 275 competitors, the most turkey smoke entries ever. We're so excited about it. So what's different is with brisket and pork and all that, they can only put it in a box with lettuce and parsley, they just lay the meat in there. So a turkey, though, we can do it two ways. We could do that. This is a turkey tenderloin that I butterflied and smoked, and we can turn it in just like that. Or we can make a little sandwich thing. This is our turkey tenderloin, turkey teriyaki tailgate sandwich that I made a homemade teriyaki, and we marinated a turkey cutlet and put it on there. So you could do either of these presentations, and that's what makes it more fun. And, and I can, it smells incredible. I mean, look at that. We got the turkey on the grill right there. Tell us what's going on here. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually, I have been a turkey fan my whole <laughs> life, so this is a fun job for me. This is the turkey tender that we just showed over there, and it, we smoked this. We cooked it a little bit lower with a barbecue rub on it. And then these are the, the cutlets that we made with the teriyaki. And it's kind of nice. Both are, this is more grilling, that's more smoking. Either one really good to do at home. The only trick to cooking turkey at home, take your time and cook it to 165 internal temp, no more. Because you want it tender and juicy. If you don't overcook it, it'll be good. This is coming from a Hall of Famer champion, by the way. Congratulations again on Thank being inducted into the Hall of Fame. I appreciate that. That was 2014. I was inducted. These days, I get to MC the, the <laughs> host. It's really fun because I see a lot of people that I'm impressed by, like, wow, I knew that guy back in the day. He's got that great restaurant in Memphis, and now they're here getting inducted into the Barbecue Hall of Fame. Awesome. And real quick, i got to ask you, the best part about all of it, Oh, the friends and stuff, you know. But these recipes go on to turkey, turkeysmoke.org if you want to get any of these recipes all about cooking turkey. That's the place. Oh, it's been great talking to you. Thank you for your time very much. Pleasure. I appreciate it, Dr. Barbecue. We are at the Speedway. I'm Rob Hughes, KBC 9 News. Rob, thank you. A young woman's